Welcome back to Planet Explorers. We're finally leaving the grasslands behind and getting to the forest. We are definitely getting closer to the Martian colony. Slowly but surely. Still got a whole lot of these track joiners left. Okay, maybe not so many. Uh, 18, 20... So we've got 22 track joiners, joiners left, and we're right here. But we have gone a fair distance. I think we'll have enough to get to the Martian colony from here. We just gotta be a little careful. And we don't take too many detours. Honestly, I don't know if this thing will, this will go through trees or not. Well, we'll find out. Can I see it yet? Aha! There it is! I will have enough. Yeah, why not? At this point, we'll go to the ground. I think we're close enough. Don't need to bother with all the uh, high points. Hmm. Oh, it's because that one's in the ground. So yeah, we will have to raise it up. So if we put that one there, we can put the next one about right here, I think. And we'll put one. Here, right here next to Ma Madalena. Maybe, maybe not. You should be able to come over here. Do a smaller one so we got better angles. 
There we go. Coming down to here. Hey Sarah, how you doing? What is it? Oh, okay. You're the one that wanted to poop. Sorry for the trouble, really, but it'll be worth it. Here's my script for the organic fertilizer pellet, and here's another script for the Martian issued fertilizer spray. This should allow us to grow crops much faster. Try it. I'll give it a shot sometime. All right, where's the station? And then we need an ins an in. Okay, and now I need to put a now what do I do for the train? Do I just put the train on it? Where's the train cars? There we go. I should try out the communications grid and see if it works. Taro gave me his contact ID before. The monorail is done, what do you think? Good, we did our part. Now let's see what the Martians think. Dr. Wiles told me he wants to ride over to the Martian colony and test out the whole thing. Why don't you wait there a bit? He'll be right over. While you're there, tell Skyrunner for me that we welcome anyone to come and be part of our colony, including her. Perfect condition. Perfection. It feels so this is the Martian colony. Okay. I didn't catch that. Oh, there you are. Mission completed. Civil cooperation. I've only got these ones left. How's it going? Ataro sends his regards. Um, I should probably contact Mr. Batar now and. What are you doing? Official business, can't you see? Right. I want to congratulate you on the completion of the transportation system. There are practical merits to this project, so I won't oppose it or any other future concepts you may have. However, if you ever do anything to harm our interests, then there will be consequences. And that ends my part of the official business. You know, I'm beginning to see why you picked him as your aide. He's actually very pragmatic. Just not a people person. And has judgment issues. Indeed. A very sound observation. Anyway, hold on a bit while I dial up Mr. Vital. I hope this works. Hello, Governor? Can you hear me? Hello, Mr. Batar? Loud and clear. I'll get straight to the point. I would like to discuss with you folks about how we'll deal with the natives and find the epiphany going forward. I'm also willing to do it in your colony. Oh, so you're going to come join us. I'm surprised you want to come here. You've got more moxie than I give you credit for. Alright, we're delighted to have you. We really do need to talk through talk through these things anyway. Please have please have Thorin there escort you here. We'll see you soon. Alfonso? You'll need to stay here and make sure Ryong doesn't do anything drastic. Yes, ma'am. Alright, what do you do? What's your thing? Do you have anything you want our colonies to do together? I do. I'll be the first to admit that I underestimated your group of Earthlings. I respect that you were able to finish the transportation system without incident. Now, I'll be frank with you. There's a war coming. There has never been an instance in history where one party willingly gave up land to another, and I suspect that we will be able to guarantee your safety when they arrive. So my proposition to you, we reinstate the Colonial Defense Force and jointly defend our shared periphery for now. Consider it the stick to the governor's carrot. Isn't this how it's supposed to be anyway? That charter was moot the moment we decided to claim this planet for Mars. In the grand scheme of things, it's better for you to cooperate with us than the other way around. I'm doing you a favor. Think logically and accept it. I will talk to the other colonists. Oh, let's get on that. Damn it! Get on.
Oh, you can actually see him sitting in there. Neat. Oh, okay. Hey, how you doing? I probably need to cut down some of these trees and growths and plants. At least I'm not flying through tunnels. get my gun out and the thing's dead. Alright, let's uh let's head over here, Governor. Or is it over here? There you are. How's it going? Uh, Rayong wants us to form an alliance, something about not having a choice. Did he actually say that? That condescending bastard? I want to say no just based on principle. Okay, that's interesting. They're traveling across the ground on their butts like, I don't know. Okay. A joint security force would boost our numbers, but I'm no strategist. We should get Chen's opinion. I'll call him up. He needs to be in on this combo. Um, all right. Hey, Chen, can you come over here for a bit? Thanks. You guys called? Chen, we've been discussing Ryong's proposal. Did you catch up on it? Yeah, I'd say if we're, pick if we're picking rationally, we should pool our forces. How so? Well, the truth is, we're completely outnumbered by a potential adversary here. If we fight our own, if we fight our own battles, we're going to be more easily defeated. Wouldn't you say? What if our settlements attack while the team is away? If we install proximity radars along our periphery, then they should be able to alert us to the natives of Dances. That should give us enough time to form our defenses. You know, I've been thinking, why would Ryan want to form an alliance with us? He doesn't really need us, unless his red fleet is still far away, or he doesn't know when it's actually getting here. Or if he's bluffing. If it's coming at all. Maybe it's all political maneuvering to get more leverage. It's not beyond them. So, we're in agreement then, that we proceed with the defense cooperation with the Reds. It sure seems that way. Well, whatever you guys want to do. Can you go tell that stuck up that we agreed to his proposal? I suppose. I'll go with you. I'll have a chat with Alfonso on how to coordinate this new team. Okay. All right, and then, Governor. How's it going? Nice to see you well, Governor. Welcome to our settlement. Come and see what true cooperation is like. No need to be aggressive, Vera. Governor, you're gonna have to calm some nerves today. We don't like our current situation. We've been lied to, we've been abandoned, and there are even aliens shooting at us. We're pretty mad, and we want to blame someone. I understand, Mr. Gap. I'm sorry that things have deviated forthright about the conditions on this planet. I would change the situation in a heartbeat if I could, but I can't. I trust all present are smart enough to be rational in this predicament. We have several things we need to solve, and we have to solve them together, as humans from the solar system, not as Mars and Earth citizens. You should tell that to your people. Where are you anyway? 
We're all caught up in something bigger than us. Whoop. Shit. Okay, I shouldn't be pushing buttons then. Uh, the fleet won't get here for another year if everything went according to well, plan. Well, there you have it. I've been in politics long enough to know not to place too much faith in anything but ourselves. A lot can happen before the fleet gets here, but we need to make sure that whatever happens goes according to our plan. That's why I'm here. To make plans. Oh, I don't want to do that. You are a worthy orator. I'll give you that. But how do you plan on handling the natives? The natives turned out to be much more sophisticated than we had anticipated. Our probe data showed that they were very primitive in their tech behavior. Yet, once we got here, we saw much evidence of advanced technology usage. I don't know how to explain it, but we probably need to treat them as an advanced alien civilization on a diplomatic level. From their point of view, we are the invaders after all. Indeed. So, what? We just send out a diplomatic team with a white flag? Yes, but we try to offer a fish first. Give them food? You know, not that I disagree, but what can we even offer them? Technology? What about a fruit offering? We gather up lots of local fruit types and set it in front of their, one of their settlements. Maybe they won't shoot us if they see we're bringing the, what they know for sure to be food. Okay, that's fine. We will do our part with the fruit gathering then. Do you think you can deliver it to the natives? We'll talk about this in detail later. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Alright. So, we've got some, uh, some more quests. And this looks like a good place for it. So we're going to call this episode good, and thanks for watching.